Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my Retin-A nine month update slash before and after. So before I get into the typical disclosures about my age and my skin, what I've had done, what I haven't had done, um, this video, just like all of my other updates, will include up-close photography of my skin in different areas, as well as video footage in different lighting conditions so you guys can really get um, a good idea of what my skin is looking like. Skin and how it appears completely changes based on the light that you're in. Some lighting shows pigment and blemishes a lot easier, wrinkles a lot easier, and some lighting is just very flattering and kind of tends to wash everything out. So in all of my Retin-A videos or updates that I do, I do include video footage in different lighting, and then as I mentioned, up-close photography. Now, in my six-month update slash before and after, video I did basically like a week by week progression of all of that photography as well as the video footage of my skin. I will include a link in the description box below if you're interested to see my skin um, from I think kind of like right around week four is when I started taking photos and videos all the way through the six month mark. I think for today's video, I'm just going to insert kind of my earliest photography or video footage of my skin. Um, the middle section, which is like when I purged, and then now. I think that that will just be a lot faster progression of kind of like the before and after scene. Let me know if you like it that way. Um, and again, if you want to see kind of like the week by week situation, I will include a link in the description box below. Um, disclosures about myself and my skin, what I've had done, what I haven't had done. So I am age 33. I will be 34 in January. I've never had any Botox or filler in my face. Um, and I've been challenged a little bit on that. So I just want to come close and go like this. Okay, so I basically have full movement of my face and again, no filler. Um, I've never had microneedling, um, PDO threads. Really the only thing that I've had done to my face is two halo lasers. Um, both of them were aggressive halo lasers um, and I had one after each of my pregnancies. Additionally, for the last three weeks, every single day in my morning routine, I have introduced the Foreo Bear. This is their micro current device. Um, there will be a video here coming up on this. This is the full size. And then Foreo actually sent me the Bear Mini. I did buy this one with my own money. This is 299 US dollars. And the Bear Mini, I believe, is like $100 less. So I think it's like 199 US dollars. But anyway, I use that every single morning. I've already used it today, and I will say that there is definitely an instant lift in your skin or sculpt kind of um, effect right after you use that. So that is now something that I do to my face on a regular basis that, you know, is obviously going to contribute to um, better results. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm just trying to think here. I am... Um, was on the 0.025% strength from weeks one to 13. And then I switched straight up to the 0.1% strength, which is the highest strength you can be on. I am on the cream variation as compared to the gel variation. Um, and I initially started Retin-A or Tretinoin for hormonal acne that would pop up on my chin area and jawline, um, facial rejuvenation from you know my years of sun damage, and also preventative aging. Um, I've put it on my face literally every single night from day one, uh, or night one I should say. Most people cannot do that. Um, I just kind of did it and I decided that if I had too much irritation, I would pull back. And luckily there have only been a, you know, a scattered handful of nights where I've not put it on my face. Um, in the last, I think, month and a half, I did do an updated AM and PM skincare routine in one of my regular Retin-A updates. I believe it's the week 34 update, but I'll have to double check. I will go ahead and include a link in the description box below to that. Um, and since that time, I've of course already had more updates to my skincare. 
when you use an active like tretinoin or retin-A, which is you know a very strong active ingredient, and also as you have seasonal changes, as you age, as your skin just changes, you are gonna be needing to constantly make adjustments to your routine. I shouldn't say constantly. Honestly, I really love a simple skincare routine, but for example, um, when I switched from summer to the now fall season, I noticed some increased dryness in my face, some increased irritation, some flaking, um, and quite frankly, I had to adjust many things in my routine to combat and mitigate um, the effects of that dryness, etc. So I will do an updated AM and PM routine here coming up. But again, if you want to check out my uh, previous AM and PM skincare routine, which is still very much in play at this point, I just have introduced a few different things. I will again include a link in the description box below to that. Um, as always, questions, comments, concerns, be sure to put them in the description box below. Um, my purge phase for me personally lasted from month three all the way through month six. So my purge phase lasted an entire three months. Um, I feel like oftentimes people will talk about hearing that you're supposed to be totally done purging by month three. That was just the beginning. I did not purge until that point. So um, for all of you using tretinoin, I just wanna say everyone's skin is so unique and different. It really depends on how often you're putting the tretinoin on, the strength of tretinoin that you're using, your skin in general, whether it's you know oily, dry, combo, normal, um, whether you have a history of acne, you know, it, whether you're using the gel or cream really, all of those different things. So um, I know that oftentimes I'll get in the comments, people will talk about just feeling really discouraged, whether they're in the purge phase or they're having a secondary purge, which I did have kind of around my mouth area around the eight month mark. Um, that is part of the process of tretinoin. I really encourage everyone to give tretinoin a full year of use before you really judge or try and stop. Um, again, just kind of adjusting along the way to what your skin needs in terms of moisture, stepping back on how much you're using, etc. cetera. So um, that is kind of my nine month spiel right there. Let's go ahead and get in now to the video footage and also up close photography of my face. Again, I'm gonna start um, as early as I can. I believe it's around the week four mark. Then I'm gonna show kind of my purge phase and then I'm gonna show um, what I took today right after I got out of the shower in terms of video footage and up close photography of my skin. So here you go. All right, so here we are toward the beginning of my tretinoin journey. This is always my number one lighting condition. This is downstairs in my basement under can lighting, which is the most flattering of all the lighting conditions. Notice some of the redness in my lids. I do have one or two spots of acne, um, but generally I've been on tretinoin for a few weeks at this point and my skin is looking decent. Now heading into that same lighting condition, at this point I have been on tretinoin for about four months and I am amidst my purge phase. Now I have several spots of uh, acne on my face, but as you can see the rest of my skin definitely has increased radiance and is for the most part looking pretty smooth. Um, I do have lots of little bumps under my skin because after this point I still continue to purge for another two months. And here we are at month nine. As you can see, my skin is totally smooth. I would say next to flawless. This is again, the same lighting conditions that we just saw. I do have a couple of acne spots, but they are far less swollen and my skin personally, I think looks great. Okay, switching lighting conditions to my downstairs bathroom. This has no window and the lighting in here is a slightly more blue tint. This is again around my one month mark of being on tretinoin. Same bathroom lighting, again here I am around that four month mark where I am amidst my purge. And here I am in that same lighting condition at the current nine month mark today.
All right, now I don't have one month uh, footage from this lighting condition, which is shaded natural light. This is my four month mark. This is the least flattering of all my lighting conditions. And I want you guys to mainly pay attention to the pigmentation uh, on my skin. And obviously, you know, again, I am amidst the purge. You can see bumps a lot easier. This is the least flattering of all the lighting conditions. And now comparatively, here I am in that same lighting condition at the nine month mark. Look at how improved my pigmentation is and obviously blemish situation as well. All right, and now I'm just gonna show some up close photography of my skin at solely the nine month mark. All right, guys, so that is all for my Retin-A nine-month update. I hope you enjoyed. Again, questions, comments, concerns, list them in the comment section below. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel, and also don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload um, a new video. Until next time, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, happy Halloween, and I will talk to you all soon.